Southwest Topeka has a good neighbor. State Farm agent Jim Garrison, now at 29th and Urish. If your current insurance situation has you going around in circles, get off the roundabout and stop in and meet Jim and his wonderfully efficient staff. Let Jim Garrison give you a quote and make the Garrison comparison. He's confident that with State Farm's competitive rates, the right coverage, and his unmatched service, you'll want to make him your new insurance agent. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And Jim Garrison is there for you. Northeast of the roundabout at 29th and Urish. When someone has a passion for what they do, it comes through in the product they provide their customers. Just ask LaRocco's Pizza's new owner, Jason Johnson, about their crust. They make it every day and let it rise for a minimum of 24 hours before they use it for their pizza. And his staff doesn't want to do anything they won't be the best at. And you can taste it in their pizza. LaRocco's Pizza, just a half block north of the I-470 Engage Boulevard exit. Come taste the difference. It's time for Real Estate 101 with the Carrie Brown team from Preferred Advisors. Good Saturday morning to you. This is Carrie Brown, Associate Broker with EXP Realty and the Preferred Advisors team. You're listening to Real Estate 101, and I am back with Mark Bowling, my guest host from Bowling Construction. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Carrie. And we have a special guest, Caroline Gray, the owner, co owner of Custom Wood Products with her husband, Kevin. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me, Carrie. Absolutely. So you guys are working together on the St. Jude House, correct? Yes, we are, as uh, as well as last year. So we're back at back at it, round two. So back tell us round three. Yes, it's your third year. It is our third year. It's yeah. Mark's second year. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So what did you do um, last year? Um, we Custom Wood Products donated all the cabinetry in the house. Um, and uh, so we, we work with Mark and Karen, who are amazing to work with, and um, through the design process. And, uh, and then we get the order filled. Usually I like to work on that uh, personally with them. Um, we can get all the details just right and do the best work that we can for St. Jude um, to build a, re- a real dream home. But you guys do amazing work anyway. Well, thank you. Yeah, that, that kitchen last year was just phenomenal. Um, well, I cannot say enough about Custom Woods. I mean, I can't say enough about them every day, but what they did for uh, for our house in the St. Jude last year was just over the top. Absolutely. I mean, every time I show a house, people look in the drawers and in the cabinets to see if it was you guys that did the work. So you've clearly got a great reputation. Well, thank you. That's really important to us, and I really appreciate the um, the honor to be able to, to do that for St. Jude and to help Mark. So I understand you've been to memphis to the st jude's hospital correct yes uh kevin and i went um before the the first home that we did um and were able to tour the hospital um go to several uh, marketing events it was the builder summit that they have every year there and it was uh, really amazing to meet builders from all over the country who just do this out of the goodness of their heart and um and to see so many people of that caliber come together in one location at the same time was pretty amazing event. I bet it was. And I'm sure it leaves just a, this amazing feeling just seeing all the great things that they do at the same time, heartbreaking seeing why they have to do it. Yeah, that's true. It's um, There's always heartbreaking stories, but the reality is when you're there and you're seeing what they do, and, and you actually see how happy the kids are. I know that they have a lot of struggles. And they have a lot of struggles ahead of them. But there at the moment, they're happy and they're being taken care of. And the parents are very happy and grateful, eternally grateful for what St. Jude does. And, and I think the biggest impression that it left on me was the fact that St. Jude shares everything they have with everybody all over the world, not just the kids, but other medical fields. Um, In other countries, everybody, they share everything that they have. They have a huge research center. They hire the best doctors all over the world, and they share that. That's amazing. Wouldn't it be great if every industry did that? If everybody had that mentality all the time? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a different world. Yes, it would. So, Mark, what do you have coming up? Well, uh, we've got, of course, the uh, area home show coming up which is uh, February 14th, 15th, and 16th. Um, and I can't count how many years I've been in it, but I think Caroline said earlier she been about 20 years. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a great event. Uh, we look forward to it. 
Yeah, I do believe that we have spent every year for 20 years on Valentine's Day at the home show. So, yeah. At least around that yeah. time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's always fun to see whether you're remodeling or not and get out there and see what's new and, and get inspired by something. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, uh, of course, they're doing a lot of construction down at the, can't say the Expo Center now, mm-hmm. but the Stormont Bell Event Center. And, and so it's uh, going to be going to be interesting once it's finished. Uh, it's going to be a lot larger than what it is now. So look forward to that next year. Mm-hmm. That will be nice. They just had the farm show out there, and for the first time ever, Troy's booth was at, actually out where the the cattle and stuff are, where the dirt floor is. I never even knew that existed. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't realize that they actually put booths out there. Hmm. So Interesting. It makes me wonder now, what we, what have we been missing all this time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have there been booths yeah. out there all this time and we just didn't, didn't know? know. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So do you guys do several shows throughout the year? Uh, home show wise, yes, we do. Um, we usually par- oftentimes participate in Kansas City Home Show, just kind of depending on what we have going on. But on an annual basis for, for many years now, we've participated in the Lawrence, Topeka, um, and the Manhattan Home Shows. So, so you guys get around. We do. We have some um, amazing guys in the shop. Uh, they set up the booth ahead of time, make sure... Everything is complete and perfect, and then they deliver, and um, it's 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 quite the process because we we like to have a fantastic booth, or we we hope to have a fantastic booth um, for all the people that come out and see. We'd like to really show them off something. Um, this year, they're going to see something a little bit different. Uh, we we normally, like I said, do a fantastic kitchen, something fun and exciting and different that hope, hopefully um, inspires and and provoke some curiosity. Uh, but this year, we actually are not going to have a whole lot of cabinetry in the home show. Um, we are uh, going to, we're going to have more of an experience and to learn about Custom Woods history, what we do, a little more in depth of what our construction is, what our quality is, who our people are, how we design. Um, we'll have uh, some, we'll have a few seminars where the designers will actually um, have some um, some prepared seminars at certain times during the day. So, and that'll be that'll be posted there at the home show. So we hope we hope people will just come by and visit, and we'll have beautiful pictures. Um, but we'll have some interactive things as well, as far as cabinet construction and 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 showing the different things that we offer. That sounds like a lot of fun. So, where all do you guys service? Um, we service in our local area from anywhere from Salina to Kansas City up to the Kansas-Nebraska border and then down south. It's, it's around a 90-mile radius, and we do about half of our business here in that 90-mile radius area. Um, the other half of our business is done with dealerships throughout the country. So we have dealerships um, clear from the east coast to the west coast uh, more definitely more concentrated in the midwest area we have a lot of dealers in colorado and in um, ohio minnesota areas and missouri wow so you guys are quite the moguls it's not just this local territory that's amazing well it's i don't know I, i think that's all a perception but um we we go to shows, um, we, someone we participate in shows outside of our hometown, obviously there's a much bigger competitive um, field there. Um, we have to compete against national brands, and we are still considered a, a small business. Um, but it's kind of fun because we do things, we, the first thing we do is we tell people we do things a little weird, and, and we're proud of it. Uh, so we we have a different style of construction, and um, sometimes for the out in the dealer world, for kitchen designers who don't know about us across the country, um, takes a little bit of little getting used to. But once they once they get used to us, they love us. They love the way we install. They love our they love the finished product, and and their customers are very happy. And they can get pretty much anything they want with the customizations that we have to offer. So, say I'm building a house, and I want you guys. Mm-hmm. When is a good time to get a hold of you in the building process? Obviously, they would be talking to Mark up front, 
But is there a time frame that you guys get them in and have them sit down and look at all the different catalogs and go through what they're looking for? Yes. Um, it's always best to start definitely in the planning phase. Um, we don't want you to have any regrets. So planning your kitchen on, in the other areas of your home uh, before the walls are built is always a, the best idea. And I think, too, um, not so much time-wise, but also sometimes when you're building a house, it's overwhelming making all these decisions. And sometimes it's just nice to make these decisions ahead of time and then you can just veg with it and be with it for a while. And you go back and revisit it. And you might see things differently because when you're in there, you're going to be there for a while. And we really want you to be happy. And uh, so we have designers that uh, work with Mark. Um, and Mark will, will send you to one of our designers. And they will just work with you hand in hand um, and through through the whole process. And, and it'll take as long as it takes to, to get the customer or, or the, home, the homeowner to be exactly where they want to be. And I know a lot of people associate you with just kitchens, but that's not all you do. No, that's not all we do. Um, we, well, cabinetry can go anywhere in the home, and it's just all about how much organization you want to include. Um, the more built-ins you have, the better organized you can be, and, and really it just depends on your budget. We can work in any budget. Um, uh, we've got we've got a very basic, good quality cabinet, and we only have one line. So that line um, can be dressed up and fixed up and made as pretty as you want it to be for the multi million dollar home. Or you can have the exact same cabinet that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, and it's very abor- affordably priced. Yeah, and and a lot of people <clears throat> thinks just because it's custom, we can't afford it. And, and I try to explain that to my clients that, look, <clears throat> you can get all the bells and whistles or you can get the basic. And you're still getting that customer's name and you're still getting their fantastic warranty with whatever line you go with. And so there's, you know, there is a large range that these guys can do for us. And that really helps me when I'm bidding my houses for my clients to be able to know that they can get custom with cabinets. And, and we're here locally, and we have been since 1981, and we're not going anywhere. We have, um, we have 165 employees, and a lot of them work this direction, or a lot of them live this direction. Um, some people think that we're the, probably the largest employer of St. Mary's, but the reality is there are not a whole lot of St. Mary's residents that work at Custom Wood Products. Uh, we have people from all over surrounding towns. Uh, we um, so they they'll drive and carpool anywhere up to an hour away from St. Mary's. So we're really lucky. We've got some great guys. They really are craftsmen. They know what they're doing, and the way we are set up with customization, that's just the way we do it every day. So it doesn't cost us any extra to do customizations than um, than it does just to do to the normal the normal cabinet run that most people see in the box stores. I know you guys did our uh, bar upstairs, and we love it. I mean, Great. It's, it's gorgeous, and it, it, it's exactly what we were looking for. And for us, it was really hard to articulate what it was we were actually looking for because I was telling Mark we had a hard time agreeing just to do how and how we were going to do our kitchen because it's really, really large. And kitchen countertops were massive because of how large it was. We didn't build it, but it was what drew us to the house. Mm-hmm. So when you have that large of a space, you didn't want to do it wrong. So Absolutely. having to agree, it took us 15 years. So you guys came in, <laughs> Absolutely. drew what we wanted and had it done in no time. We probably should have just said, hey, <laughs> tell us what to do down here too. But mm-hmm. we finally ended up, he ended up cutting down the largest tree in Kansas because it was considered to be a risk. And we used that wood for our kitchen countertop. Oh, wow. Yeah, so nobody else can say that they have it. What kind of wood is it? Do you remember? It is red oak, and it's gorgeous, and with a live edge. Oh, the live edge is really beautiful, and that's really popular right now, and uh, and it's it has a kind of a rustic elegance to it. Um, red oak was very popular in the 80s when everybody was doing oak fruit wood, <laughs> crown raised panel, but um, oak is coming back, and when you see it in a different application... I bet it's really gorgeous. Our house has cedar and stone on the inside also, so it fits right in downstairs. Mm-hmm. 
nice. I bet it does. So do you guys have showrooms? Uh, we do. We have um, we have a showroom in Topeka. That's our largest showroom and has been for, for quite a few years. We also have showroom in Manhattan and in Lawrence as well as Kansas City. So people can come in and you can show them around and give them an idea of what it is they're looking at whenever they pick out colors and things like that? That's correct. So um, th- this is another thing that we're going to talk about at the home show. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a process, and it's, it can be a daunting process for a lot of people. And uh, definitely don't want to under- underestimate the, the power of a good designer as well. Um, the, the DIY is, is great, um, but, you know, for appliance placement and things like that. But when you get to start talking about ideas of where things can go and how it can make your life easier and how your kitchen can perform better for you, um, it really is great to have a designer. And, uh, and the designers here at Custom Wood Products are no cost to you. They, they are just paid on commission, but they are helping several people at the same time and they don't they they really and truly do want to help you get what you want at the price point that you want that's their goal um so when uh they they don't do their own pricing the pricing is done through through the plant um and um and through the showrooms so um it's really great if you talk to them about your budget uh because they can help you target your budget or try and keep under but it's really great to have those open conversations because they really are on your side um, and they really want uh, they are interested in in making you happy um, and getting some referrals from you so that they can continue Um, but yes when you go into the showroom you'll talk with a showroom consultant there Um, they will they will kind of show you around uh, some of the decisions that you might have to make or give you thoughts to take home for homework. And, and, um, and eventually you'll be visiting with a designer. We can talk about budget and where you want to be and then talk, kind of show you what is in that budget range. They can kind of show you a good, better, best type scenario. Um, and it will help you make the decision where you want to be with your budget because sometimes it's the chicken and the egg thing. You say, well, what's your budget? Well, I don't know. How much is it going to cost? Well, we don't know until we know what it is you want. And, and so you can kind of go back and forth. But that going back and forth is good. It's all good information, and it helps us to decide. Um, it helps both of us decide where you want to be and to hone in on that real quickly, going through that process in the showroom. We are going to take a quick break for a word from our sponsors, Jim Garrison with State Farm Insurance and Beth Jessup from Sports Moms United. We'll be back to talk about an exciting thing that Custom Woods Products is going to be rolling out here really quickly. When someone has a passion for what they do, it comes through in the product they provide their customers. Just ask LaRocco's Pizza's new owner, Jason Johnson, about their crust. They make it every day and let it rise for a minimum of 24 hours before they use it for their pizza. And his staff doesn't want to do anything they won't be the best at. And you can taste it in their pizza. LaRocco's Pizza, just a half block north of the I-470 and Gage Boulevard exit. Come taste the difference. At SportsMomsUnited.com, we celebrate every athlete and support every sports mom. SportsMomsUnited.com is on a mission to put logic back in youth sports. When you ask young athletes why they play sports, their number one answer is fun. For them, that means being on a team, making new friends, having a good time, all of which are awesome memories. We add to the memories by featuring an athlete of the day and sharing their story. Nominate an athlete today at www.SportsMomsUnited.com. It's the season for brand new mulch, and Brown's Tree Service has got your yard covered. Brown's Tree Service utilizes hardwood mulch that retains more moisture. Not only does mulch make your yard more appealing, it also reduces weeds, improves soil, and creates insulation for plants. Get the right mulch for your job at Brown's Tree Service. They shred it, haul it, and spread it in bulk. Or you can haul it yourself for the personal touch to your property. Call Brown's Tree Service at 785-379-9212 or visit online at Brown's Tree Service LC. This is Carrie Brown, Associate Broker with EXP Realty and the Preferred Advisors team. And I am back with my guest co-host, Mark Bulling with Bulling Construction. And we are interviewing the special guest, Caroline Gray, one of the co-owners of Custom Woods Products. Caroline, uh, I know you met with Karen here a couple weeks ago on the St. Jude Project. And 
uh, you brought up a new line that you guys are going to be bringing out here shortly. And we're excited for the St. Jude house to have you put it in the house. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. So can you elaborate a little bit more on that? I sure can. So uh, so this will be the first time it's been discussed in public so far. It's just been secret. Um, but yes, we have, um, we're, we're in the process of getting a new facility up and running. Um, we're going to be building some commercial casework, um, but also a, a frameless line of closets. So um, to best describe it, it would be kind of like California closets, um, that type of that type of construction, that type of implementation and installation into your closets. Closets are such a huge um, need right now. Uh, people are really focusing on what they want to be organized to showcase some of the beautiful purses that the ladies have and shoes. And, and uh, so we're really looking forward to doing that for the St. Jude home. Uh, that will be our first home in Topeka that, that we'll have the closet system in. We are currently um, getting the software to be talking to the machinery and deciding what type of finished products we'll be using on that um, on that product line. That's great. Uh, uh, closets are a big thing on new construction, you know, and, and when you're talking about purses and shoes, you can never have enough spaces for either one of them. Um, you know, when I, when I walk through the house with the clients to let talk about those items, uh, we always want to try to get the most bang for the money. And, and it's, you know, the double hanging and, and the racks and, and it's always, we want shoe space. So absolutely. I'm excited to see what you come up with for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, we will have, we will have closet specialists as time goes on where they come in and, and actually, you know, take inventory of what you have and how you use your closet and, um, you know, of course, there will be um, budgets set for that as well. You can also have a good, better, best closet organization system. Um, and when when the person comes into your home to help you decide that, um, they'll work with you again on the budget and, and maybe get you something a little better than just your wire shelves. That's great. Well, I know last year you guys really helped us out on the pantry. And so a lot of people don't realize you guys do pantries. And so, right. you know, that's that's another area that you really want to get the most bang for your money. Exactly. And so uh, for a more affordable option on pantries to go with that closet system, it's the same system that you can incorporate into a pantry. Um, great storage ideas and, and um, great ways to get your life organized with how busy everybody is nowadays. Yeah. So have you noticed that the Kamari effect has impacted your your organization as far as when people come in, they're like, okay, I need to be able to put this this way and, you know, the minimalist, but everything perfectly aligned. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we can we can make anybody happy with with their um, their obsessions on organization um, to whatever extent that whatever extent they want. You know, Carrie, a couple weeks ago, I had some clients come in from Virginia and they were looking to build a house. And, and uh, uh, so I showed them a couple of my houses here in Topeka. And, and the clients, both clients, uh, basically sold me on to them and Custom Woods. They were the, our, our salespeople. And both of them, just, I mean, the clients asked me afterwards, did you pay them to, talk to tell us how great Custom Woods was? And I just laughed. I said, "Well, you want to go see the showroom now?" <laughs> yeah. And, and so, you know, it they just do a phenomenal job, and I can't I can't speak any more highly of what they do. Uh, and they, they, you know, we work really well together as a uh, partners, and that's that's a big key. And and uh, uh, same with all my trade partners. I mean, that's we look for good people to be associated with us, and I'm just proud to say Custom Woods is part of our team. Well, thank you. Caroline, you were talking a little bit about, ago about your your processing and um, the, the computer is picking out the wood. Let's talk about how that all happens. Sure. Um, well, we've recently purchased a new machine um, called the IntelliStore. The IntelliStore comes direct from Germany. Uh, Kevin and I had the opportunity to go over to Germany a couple of times and observe cabinet shops there 
how they construct and how they um, engineer their equipment, uh, we were able to find several pieces of equipment that are um, amazing CNC-driven equipment that really improves the safety of our shop, um, CNC routers, um, beam saws, and all kinds of things that would bore most people, I think, until you come and have a tour. Um, but the IntelliStore is, is a very unique piece of machinery that is a material handling and organizational machine. It, um, we, we, we were busting at the seams, so we built an 8,000-foot um, warehouse. And this warehouse, half of it is taken up by this IntelliStore. And basically, it's a fence that is taking up the whole half of the warehouse, and the, and the fence is um, loaded with all of our sheet goods. Um, we have all the different wood species, and so all the sheet goods is there. The IntelliStore is like a, like a vacuum on a gantry, and so it stocks its own inside the, inside the fence. It stocks itself. It knows exactly where every single piece is. So when we have a cut list for the day, the machine, the, the IntelliStore, will go and get that piece of wood and put it on the saw, and so it's completely safe. Um, plywood is, it, it doesn't seem like plywood is dangerous, but some guys will go to the highest shelf to grab a piece of plywood in this way. That's all handled by the machine. And, um, and it's done accurately and, um, and quickly. And then the, um, the saw operator is hands off the saw. So it's just very safe. And he pulls the parts out of the opposite side um, and then can send it over to the cabinet builders. Uh, so that is really an amazing it's an amazing operation to see it work, and we're more than happy. We love when people come down and, and uh, want to tour the plant. There's almost always somebody there who could give an individual um, or a couple who is um, having cabinets built uh, a tour through the plant, especially if their cabinets are being built right in the middle of construction. They can walk in the plant, and their name is everywhere. <laughs> so, And it's, it's very cool for them to see, to see their parts all coming together. Where is your plant? Um, it's in St. Mary's, Kansas. Um, it's 415 East Bertrand Avenue. You can't miss it. It uh, is right there on Highway 24 on the east side of town as you're coming into St. Mary's. You know, and Caroline was talking about, you know, walking through the plant when your cabinet's being made. We remodeled our kitchen a couple of years ago, and we put custom woods in, of course. And, and I just happened to have to go out one time and... While our cabinets were being made, of course, I made a uh, trip. Told my wife I had to had to make a special trip, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it gave you a good feeling to sit there and see your your own cabinet being made and so forth. So that that was an awesome experience. Right, that's right. And and Kevin and I are building our house now, and uh, and it's the first time either one of us have ever built a house. Uh, so we, it's been a really fun project, and um, in these past month when we go out into the shop and we see gray everywhere and it, it's it's now we for the first time we have that feeling and uh it's pretty awesome and it's great to see it going to the shop the finished shop it's great to see it on the dock and so um so we have now that feeling of excitement that that we hopefully have a lot of other people have when they come see us so mark let's talk about where are we at the saint jude house well we uh actually having walls being constructed today as we speak and uh, uh, hopefully by uh, next week we'll start setting the trusses or actually we're uh, we're doing a cutting roof so the rafters will be going up next week Uh, the um, hopefully weather permit works with us Uh, it's been pretty good we lost a couple days here but uh, uh, it's 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 a little slower than we like it to be but i'm sure we'll catch up so, Mark, if someone was wanting to build a house, how did they get a hold of you? Uh, just give me a call at 785-213-4427, or you can go to my website at mbowling.com. And be sure and check out our open houses this weekend. On Sunday, we have 3735 Southwest Cobblestone Place open from 12 to 1.30, and again from 3 to 4. So if you're going to the game, don't worry. We've got you covered. And then on 6140 Southwest South Point Drive in Auburn, that one will be open from 12 to 1. If you're looking to buy or sell, be sure and give us a call at 785-213-5188 or check us out online at preferredadvisorsteam.com. 
Thank you for listening to Real Estate 101 with the Carrie Brown team from Preferred Advisors. 